this is an ultrasound study of uh, bilateral obstructive uropathy that on in a 50 years old female. This is the liver parenchyma. This is transfer section uh, of the kidney. And you can see that the parenchyma leukogenicity is diffusely raised with the uh, loss of corticomedullary differentiation. The dilation of calluses is seen. And this small amount of fluid is the fluid that is seen in the uh, Morrison's pouch. This is the fluid. This is the kidney, this one. This is the liver. So we do see uh, fluid in the Morrison's pouch. Liver is normal and uh, the kidney is showing minimal to moderate degree of uh, dilation of all the calluses and the it measures 12.0 centimeter in length and uh, mm. 5.8 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter is enlarged this is this length is considered uh, up to 11 centimeter is considered normal and the anterior posterior diameter should not exceed 5 centimeters this is the dilation of all the calluses these are the upper pole calluses, the mid region, and this is the lower pole. The parenchymal thickness is preserved all over, but the corticomedullary differentiation is muffled, and uh, the ecogenicity of the parenchyma is diffusely raised that of the right kidney. Now, this is the uh, renal pelvis. This is the renal pelvis, it is dilated. And uh, proximal ureter, this is the proximal ureter, it is mildly dilated. However, convolutions down. Now, this is the left kidney. That's the longitudinal section of the left kidney, and you will see all the same findings as I narrated for that of the uh, left kidney, right kidney. The kidney is enlarged. The the calluses are dilated, minimal to moderate, minimal to moderately. The parenchymal ecogenicity is diffusely raised. Corticomedullary differentiation is uh, not uh, is is lost, and uh, calluses of all all the calluses are dilated. This is the pelvis. The pelvis is dilated. This is the pelvis. It is dilated. and it may use up to 30 millimeters. Now this is the proximal ureter, that of the left kidney, left side, may 7.4, up to 7 is considered normal. So mild dilation of the proximal ureter. So there is bilateral obstructive uropathy with the grade 1 renal parenchymal changes and hydro bilateral hydro ureter. Now the patient is with pamper as he cannot hold the urine and, and uh, as the patient cannot hold the urine the constant dribbling is, is there. So that's the reason we do not see the urinary bladder and what we see is a complex cystic solid mass heterogeneous with internal calcification uh, from the extending from the uh, pelvic region so suprapubic region from the urinary bladder this is where the urinary bladder should have been 
and in, the, in its place we see a large mass that measures approximately 14.2 centimeters by 9 centimeters with cystic, this, this is the cystic compartment, this is the fluid within the mass, this is small amount of fluid and rest all is showing heterogeneous appearance, this is the aquagenic part and internal calcifications are seen and this large pelvic mass uh, in the pelvic region of the of this uh, male patient is the cause of bilateral uh, obstructive uropathy and hydrouretal. No regional adenopathy is seen. This, these are the hyaluronic vessels. That on the left side. And these are the iliac vessels that are on the right side. And uh, this mass solid mass. Now you see that the iliac vessels are coursing anterior to the mass mass is posterior to them and here I am at the suprapubic region and what I see is a midline solid complex cystic and solid mass with internal echogenicity and outer surface is irregular so this is the case of the day thank you very much